हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अक्षर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग सेवेंथ क्लास चेंजेस अराउंड अस चैप्टर फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री राइट सो टुडे टुडे वी कंटिन्यू विद द सेम चैप्टर दैट इज चेंजेस अराउंड अस स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर डिस्कसिंग सो मेनी टॉपिक्स लाइक डिजायरेबल एंड अनडिजायरेबल चेंजेस स्लो एंड फास्ट चेंजेस temporary permanent changes reversible irreversible changes this is all we have done in the previous classes today let's go with the physical and the chemical changes right so students our next topic is what physical and chemical changes students physical means what physical properties if there is a change in physical properties such as state size shape are called physical changes right for example students if i take uh, the ice students if i take the ice 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 is in which state solid state right now i am taking this ice from the refrigerator and uh, i am bringing out of the refrigerator i am keeping outside and uh, after few minutes what happens to this ice ice melts and it becomes water so water is in which state uh, liquid state right so here what is where is the change the change in the state from solid state to liquid state if i take this water and if i heat means if i put on a stove and if i heat it so what happens it water get boiled and it turns into vapor and vapor is which state gaseous state right so solid is converting into liquid and liquid is converting gas right if i cool this gas that's called condensation so again it will be converted into liquid then still if i cool it then it again it convert into solid ice so here there is a change only in its uh, physical state from solid to liquid liquid to gas gas to liquid liquid to solid right such type of changes are called a uh, physical change so students remember very important in the physical change okay in the physical change only change in physical properties physical properties and students here very important thing is that when any substance undergoes into physical change then no change in its composition remember no change in its composition means what for example if i take the ice ice uh, if i uh, write chemically then the formula of ice is nothing but a h2o because it's formed from the water and if you see the water again the formula is h2o again when the water is converted to water vapor again its formula is h2o so there is no change in the composition there is no change in composition the meaning is what no new substance is forming no new substance is forming right and uh, one more important thing is that these changes are temporary changes temporary means what if you take the water if you put in the refrigerator means freezer only as long as it is in freezer it will be in solid state like ice if i take it out from the freezer then again it comes to its uh, original state so this is not permanent it's a temporary change so this change is called a uh, physical change clear now then what is chemical change students chemical change means what if there is a new substance is formed with a change in the composition then that is called a chemical change for example see here i am taking the wood you know that wood mainly consists of carbon right it is wood if i burn this wood okay i am burning this wood in presence of air so what i'll get i'll get ash right so here carbon dioxide gas is released you know that and here ash is formed so i am getting carbon dioxide and ash is forming okay now once if it is wood is burnt it's forming the ash can you convert the ash into wood no 
So on burning wood means what? We are burning the carbon, carbon reacting in with oxygen in uh, from the air and uh, it is forming the carbon dioxide gas. Again you cannot convert carbon dioxide gas into wood or carbon. Is this clear now? So here the new substance is forming due to the change in the composition and once if it is changed from one component to other, it cannot be changed reversed back, right? So this is called a chemical change. Is this clear students? Now you can observe clearly in this diagram. Students here, see here, a physical change affects only physical properties, shape, size, state, etc. Okay? When a substance undergoes physical change, its composition remains the same. For example, see students here, ice cream. This ice cream is melting. Why ice cream is made up of which material? Whether is the composition is changing? No change in the composition. Okay. Now, physical change is temporary change. It's what? Temporary change. So, it is melting. Again, if I put in the refrigerator, if I freeze it, again it becomes ice. So, it is only temporary change. In a physical change, no new substance is forming. Yes or no? So, if ice, if ice cream is melting, even after melting also, it is same composition, right? And physical change can be easily reversed. It means what? We can take it back. Now, example you see here, ice cream is melting, okay? And here you see water is boiling. So, here ice cream from solid state to it converting into liquid state. Here what is happening? Water from liquid state to it is changing into the gaseous state. So, this is called a physical change. But in chemical change, what happens you see here? When a chemical change undergoes, the composition changes, new substance is forming. See, when I am burning the wood, it is burning, means what is reacting with oxygen and forming the carbon dioxide gas. Means this carbon dioxide gas, can it convert into again wood? It is not possible students, okay? So, here this is a permanent change. It is what? Permanent change. When it is undergoing the chemical change, there may be both physical and chemical properties changes occurs takes place, right? And here you see a chemical change is always accompanied by the one or more new substance. When we are burning the wood, so we are getting the carbon dioxide, gas, smoke, okay? And also we get the ash, right? And it is irreversible, means what? It cannot be get back. So this is called as a chemical change. So chemical change example is what? Burning of wood, rusting, and see a digestion of food. If you eat something, Okay, get digested in the stomach. Can you convert again digested food into the main food? No, it's not possible, right? This is an example for the chemical change. <clears throat> okay, students, now you can identify a small test tube. So, in this, which are the physical changes, which are the chemical changes? Combustion means wood is burning. Which type of change it is? Yes, it is a chemical change. Okay, it is chemical change. Rotting means what the one fruit is getting rotted. So this also again can you get a make it to same as it is? No. So this also chemical change. Ice is melting. So melting comes under physical change. And shredding, this also physical change. Rusting students, this is a chemical change. And food is getting digested. Digested food again, you cannot convert it back into original. So this is chemical change. Boiling of water, physical change. And chopping, this also physical change. Now, I hope you are cleared with the physical and the chemical changes. Yes, students. So, this is our seventh class topic, students. But uh, today, I am going to introduce one new word from the chemistry, okay, which you learn in the higher classes later. But as I under the IIT foundation, we are going to discuss about some new things, right? So, here it is a chemical reaction. Did you heard about the chemical reaction? Chemical reactions generally takes place in the labs, no? Right. So, today we see what is a chemical reaction. Student, the word is a chemical reaction, but actually it is nothing but a chemical change. It is nothing but a chemical change. Now, whenever we can say that chemical change has taken place, the meaning is 
chemical reaction took place. So, chemical changes only called as a chemical reaction, right? Now, I said, you know, like wood, okay, burning in air, okay, and forming carbon dioxide and releasing carbon dioxide gas, okay. So, this chemical change, this is comes under chemical change as just so we discussed, okay, but this only called as a chemical reaction, but while writing the chemical reaction, we use some chemical terminology, right. For example, instead of writing wood, we write the carbon burning in air, so reacting with air, we are writing as oxygen and forming carbon dioxide gas, so carbon dioxide gas, that's all. So, this is the chemical reaction, chemical change only the chemical reaction, but here we are using some chemical terminology to represent or to express uh, that chemical change, right. So, wood we are writing as carbon, burning in air, reacting with oxygen, forming the carbon dioxide gas, over this is the chemical reaction. Is this clear students? And um, when chemical reaction, this is the chemical reaction. So, we can see in the chemistry so many chemical reactions takes place, okay. Some thousands, millions of chemical reactions are there in the chemistry, okay. So, every time we can't write the full reaction. So, that is what, what we do students. We do, we write this chemical reactions in the, the form of small, okay, like uh, in a shortcut called as a chemical equations by using the symbols and formula by using the symbols and formula. So, this is chemical reaction, okay. Now, this we write in very short uh, as a chemical equation. So, carbon symbol is C plus oxygen formula is O2 and carbon dioxide gas formula is CO2. So, that's all. This is the chemical equation. So, students, the chemical changes only called as a chemical reaction and a chemical reaction still we can write in short by using the symbols and formulas that is called as a chemical equation, okay. So, see students here, okay, chemical reaction. For example, here you see they are taking the magnesium. This is what magnesium ribbon. So, when the magnesium ribbon is burning, so what it forms, see it is burning with a dazzling flame and forms some ash. That ash is called the magnesium oxide. Of course, you know that this is a chemical change, but uh, we can uh, call it as a chemical reaction in chemistry, okay. So, whenever a chemical change occurs, we can say that a chemical reaction has taken place. Example, say magnesium ribbon burns uh, with a dazzling flame and changes into a white powder, okay, and it is called as a magnesium oxide. So, this is a magnesium oxide, right. So, here Whenever the chemical reaction takes place, there some changes will occur. What are those changes? The changes may be in state, may be in color, evolution of gas, change in temperature. So, see here, for example, in this bottle, copper reacting with nitric acid, so that here nitrogen dioxide gas is releasing, see brown color, right. So, this is an example for the chemical reaction and the same chemical reaction we are writing in the form of a chemical equation in short by using the symbols and formulas, okay. So, this is about the chemical reaction students. In detail, we discussed about the chemical equation and chemical reactions in the next class, okay. So, hope you understood, okay, great.